Hi guys, and welcome to Armin's Tech Talk. I am, of course, your host, Armand, and today I want to talk to you about the new UHD 4K PC drive that Pioneer is going to be launching. But before I slip into that, I actually just want to apologize to you guys out there for not being around uh, posting the Mass Effect videos and other content to the channel. Over the past month, I have actually been battling with bronchitis. I did uh, go and see doctors the other day, but it's become increasingly hard to breathe. And, you know, when you get somebody squeezing on your lungs like a, uh, well, like you're pushing air out of a sandwich baggie, it gets a little hard to talk. So it really wasn't possible to do the videos. So I want to apologize. I want to thank you for continuing to support me. And uh, now let's go ahead and get into the content. So, Pioneer has announced two ultra-high-definition Blu-ray drives, which will launch limitedly in Japan in February, with a later date to come to the United States. These two drives are BDR-S11J-BK and BDR-S11J-X. The latter of those two drives is going to be a more premium drive. It's going to have a flat cable, a glossy front finish, some anti-vibration technology built into the drive, and both will come with Cyberlink's Power DVD 14, which that software itself will eventually get an update to support HDR. Now, one bad thing about these uh, drives is that if you were planning on using them for your primary source of watching uh, high, uh, ultra high definition, then you're going to have to do a few more PC upgrades besides just getting the drive. It is noted in the announcement that to run this, you are going to need a KB Lake processor. Of course, those are the processors that Intel just launched this past January, uh, early January at CES. I am, of course, curious at this point if the Skylake X uh, will actually support the drive, being that this processor is yet to be released and won't uh, be released until sometime in the July, June, July, August timeframe. Uh, of course, with that release as well, they will have a low end uh, KB Lake X. So if the Skylake variants do the Skylake X variants do not support the drive, then when it comes time to upgrade for those that are on uh, high um, high end desktops or otherwise known to Intel as H H E D T, you're gonna have to choose between cores, core count, and uh, functionality of a new new hardware piece. So that could make life a little difficult if they don't support it going forward. Um, of course, we do have 150 plus uh, titles, which of course will run in the drive, but uh, those may still also need software updates depending upon Gamma and Chroma and, and whatever else is going on. Um, the graphics card you'll need uh, to support the HDR10 that is are in the disc is most likely, and I can't say this with a 100% confirmation, so take this with a grain of salt, is a NVIDIA uh, 10 series or Polaris by AMD. So are you guys going to put a UHD Blu-ray player drive in your computer? Do you, does anybody build home theater PCs anymore that contain drives. Let me know in the comments below. Like this video if you, uh, well, like this video if you liked it. Of course, give me a thumbs down and a suggestion if you don't. And uh, click that subscribe button. It uh, really helps me out. And views, of course, let me know kind of what content you guys do like to watch and um, what you don't. And that helps me kind of form the channel. This is 
YouTube channels are very collaborative effort. And so I want to thank you guys very much for taking the time to actually watch this. And I really appreciate any of the comments that you do put below. I do read them and I do try to reply to them. Anyway, I want to thank you again. And I will see you guys in the next video.